Hey Virgo, happy Wednesday to you. I hope that you had a beautiful, beautiful day. So we're gonna start this reading off by, I'm thanking you all for helping me grow this channel, for supporting me by purchasing readings. I thank you all for for uh, subscribing. If that's something that you're doing and for liking, just thank you so much. I appreciate it. So this reading is going to be, um, how are those you love really doing, okay? Got the sign card. How are those you love really doing, Virgo? If you're worried about if you're worried about someone, if someone is in the hospital, or if you haven't seen someone for a, for a while, they haven't communicated with you, Virgo. How are you feeling? Uh, if, if you aren't around this person, you're possibly worried about this person. Um, you're probably uh, spirit wants you just just because we got the sun. Uh, I'm hearing that that they're well taken care of. Stay positive. How are those you love really doing, Earth, please? How are those people that you love really doing? And if this person walked away from you, you're hurting right now. But you love this person with all your heart. Okay, that's 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 what this reading is about. Uh, people you care about, how are they doing? Okay, it could be somebody you are married to. This person could be behind bars. Uh, this person just could be gone away. You haven't heard from this person. You know, we have here the six of of of, of blah, blah, blah. the six of wands. So this person has possibly moved away. Uh, maybe you have lost talk. I don't want to say communication, but maybe you just haven't talked to this person in a while. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I think this person in in their life they're evolving. Okay. Uh, you may be hurting and, and you may have decided to just leave this person alone. Okay. We got the Empress here. Okay. Um, so this is, could be a mother, your mother. This could be somebody you're worried about. You could be a mother worried about a child or just um, a person who really cares about somebody very, very deeply. You, you've done a lot for this person. All right. You possibly say, you know what? I'm hurting. I'm not going to keep dealing with this. This I'm just going to let you go and do what you want to do. I'm just going to choose not to worry about you because it's really taking up. It's taking out. It's taking out a lot for me. You know. We got the the six of. I'm sorry, the six of the, the six of swords. So maybe um, you're at a at a situation with this person that. Uh, I'm sorry, the six of wands that this person maybe said some things or hurt you or I, I don't think you realize just how much you need to just let this person go. OK, do you or go? Um, yeah, do you? I feel like in order for you to grow and prosper, you know, this person is going to be taken care of just like you're going to be taken care of and prosper. You got to let this person do what they're going to do. If they're doing some things maybe you don't like or whatever, you know, let them you know, let them recognize what they're going through. They may feel, feel like, you know, they were trapped in a situation with you. Um, you need to let this go. And that's something that you're possibly doing, letting, letting it go uh, because you can't change this person. This person's going to keep on doing what they're doing. If, if they are like a, um, a person who doesn't want to follow rules, maybe a teen or an older adult or even a, a lover, you know, they don't want to do uh, what what you say do well not say do in, in a love relationship but if you don't honor the relationship if you're not respecting me enough then yeah you can go you know I don't need this but that still doesn't undercut the fact that you possibly still love them uh, this could be you actually letting somebody go even though they're going through some things you know but sometimes you you got to let some things go in order for you to feel okay. But spirit wants you, no matter what, to remain positive. Whatever it is that you're going through, you you're going to be happy. You're going to be successful, and uh, even materialistically. But this reading is more so: how are the people that you love? How are they really doing? They know that you love them. That that's unquestionable. They know that. Okay, um, they're possibly working. We got the three. And maybe this person is struggling with work, struggling with money. And you pop this person has possibly stolen from you. This card actually fell on the floor when I was shuffling. And here we are. Here we are. Um, this person has possibly stolen from you, Virgo, um, betrayed you in some way, possibly can't hold down a job. If this person is telling you now that they're working, they're not. They probably worked a job and quit it after the first paycheck or two, you know. Uh, before I started reading, I kept hearing this Tupac song. Uh, yeah, this person has hurt you. Okay, they hurt you. They've done so many dastardly, dirty, devilish things to you, Virgo, in so many different ways. But they know you still love them. They know that you still care about them. And they're at, they're at a point to where they're hitting rock bottom in their life, and and they're feeling defeated. 
you know, self-defeated, but self-destruction, they've done this to themselves. Okay. They, they've uh, done so many things to other people and so many things to you, whether you are the parent, guardian or whatever. Um, but the song that I was hearing, Tupac, uh, Hail Mary, was it Hail? Yeah, Hail Mary. You know, I don't really know all the words of it, but I just kept hearing it in my head when I was shuffling. So I'm going to put that song in the comments. It is, um, some cursing in it. So if you don't want to listen to it, don't, but I'm hearing that in my head, but definitely this person has done some really hurtful things. They made you feel really bad, you know, um, dealing with them on whatever level. Um, but I kind of feel like this person needs to, you know, experience this for themselves. You know, there's nothing that you can do. Let them go out there and experience the world. Okay. Let them go and see exactly what's out there. Cause you, you haven't been anything but nice. You haven't been anything try to be understanding to this person and what this person wants. But the, honestly, this person has to go through all this themselves. And then they've become a burden to you. They were a burden to you. And, and you say, well, you know what? I got to let you go. I'm not going to keep on letting you do this to me. You know, forget this. You know, no, I'm not going to keep on letting you take me through this, through these changes. It's not going to keep happening. I'm not going to let you do it. So let this person go because this person has to learn how to understand that, that what they do matters, whether they realize it or not. You know, it's going to catch up with them. We got the emperor here. So this could be somebody, a male in your life or a female, because we do have the empress. This could be a mother and son, a mother and daughter, father, however it resonates with you. So this this energy is saying that somebody needs to, you know, step aside so this person can grow. If you keep on doing for this person and saying things to this person, this person's not going to listen to you. They're going to keep doing what they want to do, Virgo. And there's nothing that you can do to change them. So, yeah, they've hurt you. You know, you're crying and you're hurting, uh, thinking that, you know, what have you done wrong? Why are they like this? Why are they treating you this way? You know, let them go. OK, let them fall, you know, as hard as they possibly can until they uh, until they understand what the hell you're talking about. Uh, this person could be on drugs. They could be a drinker or something. Because the first, literally the first part we had is the sun card. That's the most pa positive, happiest card in the deck. That card is telling you, look up. Everything's going to be be OK for them. But spirit didn't say when. So they may have to hit rock bottom until they get to see what you're talking about. Um, but we got the nine of cups. This person's possibly a drinker. We got the father of cups here. So this person could be drinking a little bit too much Hennessy, <laughs> Henny <laughs> or whatever. Uh, Ciroc. Is that how you, I said Ciroc one time. My best friend started laughing. Is that how you say it? Ciroc? I think I said Ciroc. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Tequila. Mm -hmm, doing something. Smoking too much or whatever. Um, maybe edibles. Maybe they're drinking THC or something like that. I'm hearing but definitely doing something a little bit too much, you know, and, and that they feel that's their coping mechanism, all right? Got the nine of, and, and this person does not have a lot of money. They don't have a lot of riches in their life. So um, they're, they're struggling. They're struggling because they want what others have and they don't realize you have to work at it. If this is something that you want, you gotta take your ass to work. You gotta get a motherfucking education. You know, so and I just feel like this person talks a lot, talk, talks a lot. You know, they do a lot um, and, and they don't know how to respect their, your boundaries or anybody else's in theirs either. You got the mother cups. Mm, some some words have been said between this mother and his father, between his mother and their child, between the father and the daughter, the father and the son, whatever. Back and forth energy. You need to stop drinking so much. You need to stop smoking so much weed. And I'm not going to give you any more money for this. I'm not going to support your habit when I don't. Is that something that I don't do? Okay. You need to stop doing what you're doing. I'm sick of you. And don't light a blonde up in my motherfucking house. So this is mama talking to talking to to the child or the teen or or the the lover or whoever. Stop smoking in my house. Stop drinking in my house. Okay. You could have a drinking problem too, Virgo. Just saying. Don't have to be. Could be past energy. Drinking, drug problems, smoking weed, whatever, you know, and and you tell them to stop doing something, but you still doing it. So they're not going to do it because it's OK because you do it. You get it. OK. No, you don't know what's in my motherfucking cup. <laughs> I can have milk of magnesia in my motherfucking cup. What you got in that blunt? What you got in those nine beer cans that you have all throughout the day? So back and forth arguing, you know, they ask you for money because you're, you're the pinnacles energy. Okay. Uh, you're the one that's, that's, that's in charge and you've given to this person before and you're tired. You know, we got the mother of swords, but you have a, a older person. Okay. Possibly your, um, I'm hearing your forefather, somebody who's possibly on the other side now, 
who uh, is still watching out for you. And, and the person on the other side is also watching out for this person who has this issue too. Like I said, we started with the sign part. So this person is still being watched over. This person is still have having the loving energy around them okay and they're still protected you better believe that but they have to they have to learn on their own okay i'm hearing let the chips fall while they may there go how are those that you love really doing and this is pretty much possibly one or two people that you know um you gotta let it go you know we got the eight of swords so you gotta let it go this person you know, they may feel powerless and, and, then, and you may feel powerless. There's nothing that you can do until this person figures it out on their own. And they're probably isolating themselves for, from you, which is why you haven't heard from them, because you won't you won't give them what they want. You won't keep you won't keep feeding into their habits. And you shouldn't. You're doing exactly what you need to do. OK, you're setting those boundaries. And if they don't like it, they can kick rocks. OK. So I kind of feel like you're undecided now as, as to what to do. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do a damn thing. You know, just stay stay where you are. And what you're doing now is, is seeking advice about this person and what it is, how you should handle it. You're doing everything you need to do. You've already set those boundaries. You've already said you're no longer going to help them. You're no longer going to feed their habits. There's nothing else that you need to do. Nothing at all. Don't be conflicted. Head over hard decisions, Virgo. Head over hard decisions. And yeah, I, I think that you're definitely conflicted about it because you care, you know. But sometimes, you know, you got to know that this person who's coming to you, they're lying to you about something. And see, you know, they, they play a lot of games. You know, they know what they want. They know how to get it, okay? And no matter what they do or how they do it, they do it, they're still protected by the energy of the white light, white light of the Holy Spirit. But definitely, this person knows just what to say to get out of you. And anybody, they're a trickster. That's what they do. Okay, but you don't have to worry about this. Let it go. Don't let yourself. Uh, don't worry yourself sick over this. Okay. Don't worry yourself sick over something and someone you can't control. We're gonna pull one more. Let's see, Virgo. That person that you're really worried about, Virgo. How are they really doing? Okay. The person that you're worried about. How are they really doing? Wisdom. They're gonna learn. They're gonna learn. And so they're they're protected. You see that son? They're protected no matter what it is they're doing, good, bad, or indifferent. Spirit is still watching out for them. Spirit is watching out for all of us. Okay. But this person, I'm hearing you can learn a lot from a dummy. Okay. Um, this person's gonna see some things, gonna witness some things when they get out there or while they're out there in the street, and that's gonna make them come back home and want to get their shit together. OK, they're going to see the things that they're missing out there in the street, the stuff that you used to give them, that wisdom, that understanding, that caring. And most of all, that agape love, they're not getting out there in the street. They know I'm missing something. I need to go back home. I need to make a phone call. So something's going to hit them in the face. OK, and then they're going to see that they need you more than they thought they did. All right. I hope this helps. Talk to you later.